Championship. Soon we're gonna see 29 people really define what it's like to have no fear and amazing acrobatic abilities. But who is the ultimate daredevil? Let's find out right now as we splash into the water. It is time for Dutch. First, there will be a qualification, and then the Dutchers go head to head to eliminate each other until we're standing with one champion. Now, let's hear with our head judge, Emil Lübeck, how he will judge the competition. My name is Emil Lübeck. I'm a Dutcher from Norway, and I'm going to be the head judge at the World Championship. Dutch diving is the sport of surviving. You kind of make the water your bitch. You got to jump out, and you got to fly and you gotta attack that water before it attacks you. Well, we, we are strict on uh, a lot of things. One thing I usually like decrease the score of is like the run-up. People don't run like 100%, they do like 80% and no, nah, that's not good. And landings, you wanna attack the water, that's really important. And you can really tell as a judge, the Dutcher is more scared of the water or the water is more scared of him. There's a group of five judges that will be scrutinizing every single move the Dutchers make. And our commentators, Jonathan Fye and American Carl, will take us through it. All right, let's take a look at who's going to be judging for us today. We have five judges who are our experts. There's three types of landings that you can see from a Dutch athlete. One, the shrimp, hands and feet first. The second, no hander, knees and head first. And the last, bullet elbows and knees first. In the battle format, competitors will perform both classic and freestyle dots dives. In freestyle, they can execute complex rotation and acrobatics. In classic dots, full rotations are allowed. Today we have uh, a men's and a women's uh, competition going on. The men's will have five rounds, the women will have four rounds. One of our female competitors is uh, gonna give her taste on this. I'm standing here with Osberg, the defending champion from last year. How are you feeling about today's competition? I'm feeling pretty good, a bit nervous of course, but I'm ready. I, I'm gonna make that water hurt today, so yeah, I'm stoked, I'm hyped. <laughs> There's a lot of nerves of course, but then you're trying to turn your nerves into like stoke and just hyping yourself up. Uh, it's easier said than done, but <laughs> trying to just Take it from within and just want to be that water up, kind just, of. Just yeah, just, Again, five athletes. One of them will be eliminated. So the top four are going to go on to the battle rounds from here. All right, here we go. Kicking us off. All right, she's starting us off. Let's see what she's got. All right. With a big floaty gainer. Nina's way to the world championship was actually pretty unique. She she was seen by Seaman Fisk at Fognabada yep. doing Dutzing and was given a wild card because of her, her yeah. performance. Oh, she's psyched. Score of 5.94 rolling in. Let's see how that stacks up against All right. the rest of the field. Next we have Sophia Leopold coming out of Germany. It's her first time at a world championship. I know she's psyched. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Look at this. Spots the judges, yep. looks at the camera real quick. Oh Air time was good, fully exposed. I think she's really happy with that. All right, let's see what the score is. All right, 7.1. Okay, Annette from Norway. She is again one of the legends in the sport. She's been around for a while definitely wants to come home with a world championship today. Oh my God. Good power off the takeoff. Hits the position and just stops. Sick. Score rolling in at a 6.04. Okay, so that puts her above Nina, which then for the moment, qualifies her um, for the next round. Yes, it does. All right, Lina Golosan Lin, 25 years old, representing Norway, and so never Finden again. One of the uh, super, super talented 
women in this sport. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the smack. The style is so smooth on that. Very collected in the air. She opens up, spots. All right. 7.14. 7 7.14 puts her into second place. Right on. All right. Australia is a three time world champion. So, and she, last year, she beat out all the men to take first place in the Dutch World Tour Utah. Uh, and I'm from Trondheim in the middle of Norway. Uh, at the moment, my only profession is uh, dance diving and content creation. I started because my brother came home one day, had done an eight meter dance, and yeah, kind of didn't have a choice after that. Had to go out, do the same thing. Yeah, the ball just kept rolling from there. I really hope to be challenged more personally as an athlete, uh, so that I really have to work hard to keep my title. That's what I'm hoping for. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> She's here to try to bring home that fourth gold medal. Boom. <laughs> and the 720 she did, so that's two full spins. She's like blinding herself with her hair, but it doesn't <laughs> even matter. She knows where she is, spots the water, and right in. All right, remember top four. All right from this yes, round are going to go on. Ospil takes that number one spot with a 7.9. So our four athletes that are going to go on from this round are Sofia Aneta Lina and Ospil. They are now going to compete in a battle round where they go head to head to try to decide who brings home the gold medal. And we also have Trulisair, a uh, defending oh, champion and superstar. It was good, it was good. Hyped up, yes, and ready. Yes. I mean, you won last year in the rain. Now the oh, sun yeah. is out. How are you feeling right no now? No complaints, no complaints. Everything is perfect. Let's go. Everything is perfect. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of Americans thinking they're going to win today. How do you feel about that? Do you want to be a Norwegian champion or? Ah, uh, they're big talkers. You know, we got to keep that <laughs> Norwegian. Let's go. <laughs> now we're getting really, really pumped and we're getting close to kicking off our world championship. Uh, we've got, again, 24 athletes in this first round, people that have qualified from around the world. Here, you're gonna see the 24 names. So these guys have all qualified, and the Dutch Diving League has also handed out a few wild cards. Two jumps, and the best of those jumps will be counted, and only eight will advance to the next round. And here we have the Americans. It is Puff Puff and Mr. Goes Hard. How you guys doing? Yeah, we, we are going to win today. Just want to get that out there right now. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if any of you listening to this, if we don't win, we didn't say that. So okay. yeah, yeah. He <laughs> said it, Nami. I mean, the sport is getting bigger. What does it feel like representing the states here today in Oslo? I hope a lot. I hope like the more and more we, you know, we, got recognized, we get recognized as Americans, and people are cheering. Yeah. yeah. The men will compete in two qualification rounds where the best score will count. Here are some of the highlights from those rounds. All right. <laughs> we got Sean Shank up next. He's one of the most fun Dutzers I have ever been around. Sean Shank, other known as Freedom Eagle Nunchuck. He's about to throw down. <laughs> oh, so sick. Oh my God. What did we just Let's see? Let's go, dude. He has to be so psyched on that. Uh, so basically, he did a 720. However, he throws his own style in it by grabbing his foot like that. In skiing, that's called Elite Japan. And he tweaks that. Oh my god, that was the best one I've ever seen him do. Wow. That was so proper. And then he just bodied the impact. <laughs> look at that. And look at the splash, too. Good splash. That is so cool. All right. Next up, we have Foam. Coming from France, super experienced with high heights, kind of coming up with his own tricks, so I'm really psyched to see what he does. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was so sick. He does cork five, safety grab, two duds. Look at that axis, man. I love it. And look at his open posture. He's just exposed and then straight in. Gaining. All right. Comb takes first with that. The gaining cork five. Wow. So sick. So sick. 
All right, next up, Jürgen Bogle. He won the golden ticket at the Dutch World Tour Jövik this year. Came in fourth place in last year's World Championship. Six point seven. Oh, close. Close. Very close. Close. But uh, next up we have Jakob. He's known as the flips guy. So let's see what he's got. He is second place in our world tour right now. <laughs> oh, that was a big splash. I like that. He knows he did a good job on that one. That was technical. Wow, he has to be pumped with that. He's checking the judges, and they are rolling in at a 7.66. That puts Jakob in first place for round one. Come on, come on. Ah! All right, next up, the man, the myth, the legend, Johnny goes hard, Nyberg. John Nyberg, you and Nyberg, as some might say, no one knows who that is, I'm Johnny goes hard. I am from Texas, Dallas, Texas, specifically. Why am I going to win the world championship? Listen, I'll say it like this. I am not the best death diver that there is, right? There are 50 people out there that can probably do a better trick than I can, but none of them have my attitude. I could be in front of a thousand dead people and they're still gonna make noise for me. Johnny goes hard all the time. Let's see what he's got. Oh, flying off that tower, spinning, and coming up with the guns pumped. Wow, let's take a look at this in slow motion. Johnny flying through the air, comes up, hand to his ear, score coming in, 6.78. Let's go! All right, next up. The, the other American legend, Reagan Popoff, known for his bounce out of the tower. Wow, big splash. He's coming up, let's see. Holy smokes. He's gotta be happy with that. Sticks the landing, looks over to the judges. Score rolling in for Reagan at 6.82. So let's see our final athlete of the first round. We got Trulstorp up. I cannot wait what he's, to see what he's gonna do. It's always sick, it's always inspiring. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, he's mad. He's upset. So the idea was front flip 180 into a backflip, and he's gonna come around and he's gonna land in basically an upside down cannonball. But fortunately, everybody's got a second jump, so. So All right. This is our start list for the second round. Yep. So uh, we're basically going to go in the, quasi the reverse best order. score starts last. They get to go last. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. So it's uh, you know bottom to top now. Exactly. Next up, we got Jakob. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> That was sick. The entry and the splash too. I think uh, something to note is he came up before the splash was done, mm. which is added style points because you know you didn't go that deep. You know you bodied the impact and here he is. He's now in third. Wow. Rolling in with a 7.36. That is putting him in qualifying position, assuming no one else knocks him out. All right, Tour of Oget. 24, representing Norway, home country. Definitely wants to deliver in this second round. <laughs> oh, that was so sick. Wow. That trick is what got him third in the 2022 World Championships. So he goes out. That's called a clock spin right there. <laughs> oh, he holds <laughs> that so, so long. Sick. Oh my God. Wow. Into a header too. So impressive, all right. 7.56. earned, rightfully earned. He's in second now, awesome. All right, Halman, ready to deliver. This is, again, one of the biggest profiles, one of the biggest superstars in the sport. The kid has totally Absolutely. taken off. Absolutely. Oh, oh my The God. close on that. He's pumped. He comes up sight. He is so That was a header. 
So he went in uh, feet and head. No hands whatsoever. He does kind of a sideways G flip, which is a pretty much a double back flip with one spin in it. It's currently in 20th, tied for 20th probably. Uh, only up to 15th. All right, he doesn't advance on that one, unfortunately. All right, next up is Pagón Pagés out of Spain. Let's see what he's got. Wow. <laughs> the power on that. You guys see how far he went. You know, he's jumping super high. Look at that. Look at the form. It's smooth. And then he just rotates randomly in the air, lays it out, opens up, super clean. And then the entry. Wow. Right. There we go. Our aerial expert knew his stuff, nailed it on the head. Pacom puts it, gets in fourth place, a, a current fourth place. And it looks like he might be advancing to the next round. Great. Lucian from Switzerland is up next. He is one of the most experienced high dudsers in the world. Look at that freaking goose, man. Touch. 360 down, spots the water. I think that was even cleaner than his first one. Wow. Let's see what the judges think. <laughs> All right, that's that's what the judges think. First place. Right now, we're still in our second round, and who else but Seaman Fisk? <laughs> he has so many staples. So many people know him for so many different things in the sport. Um, He's good at getting the crowd psyched. There we go. Look, everybody's hollering now. That power. The splash. He launched himself. <laughs> Is he coming up with his <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Just to add a little bit of flavor to it. Look how far he jumps off that spot on the other side of the pool. He tweaks mute. Full exposure. And Look did you say he's lot. doing this with a broken cheekbone? Yeah, so he <laughs> just broke his cheekbone like a month or two ago. Goodness, it's not holding him back at all. All right, he's in seventh. He might be qualifying with that. Might be qualifying. We'll see. It's hard, it's hard to say right now, you know. It's really going to come down to the wire with the last few uh, competitors. Capo from Finland, 23 years old. <laughs> doing some push-ups, hyping himself up on that tower. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> so he goes, he does a basically J-step cork. So backflip 360 into another backflip 360. Opens up, spots the water. It's, it's really impressive. All right, that bumped him up to six. Okay, he's in. He's in for the next round. Some of the biggest profiles, like Dutch World Tour winner Hamon Sousta, legendary Seaman Fisk, the American favorites Johnny Nyberg and Reagan Popoff, and of course the defending champion Truls Top did not make it through to the battle rounds. But let's get ready for a very strong field of athletes that will battle it out for the 2024 World Champion title. It is the quarterfinals next. Do not go away. Welcome back to the 2024 Dodge World Championship. Let's go! Next up is the quarterfinals where eight Dutch divers will take on each other head to head. One will be eliminated, the other one will go through. One is gonna be wearing a white armband, the other is gonna be wearing a black armband. One of the athletes is gonna jump first and then the athlete is gonna jump second and the judges are going to put the two of them together and say, okay, who had, who had a better score? The one with the better score will move on to the next round. Exactly. We are at the World Jamie. This is competitive. This is super competitive. <laughs> and we are on to the first round of our battles. We're going to have Capo against Combe. Capo uh, is starting him off, starting off because he has the black armband. He has a lot of power, so let's see what he has. Look at that. Ooh, <laughs> punching the water. Full extension. 
And here is Combe. <laughs> more, <laughs> more creativity in other ways. Here's a side-by-side -side recap of the two. Again, like you just said. They jump off the same foot. But polar opposites polar in terms opposite. of style. <laughs> I'm white. Each Friends one's gonna pull to up. All right. Yay. Black, two white. Papo advances. Let's go. Are you feeling ready for the next round? I'm feeling powerful, powerful. Powerful. Yeah. Are you rooting for him now? No, I'm ready. Um, <laughs> like, I'm running for Lucien Charlot. <laughs> Sorry, bro, love you. <laughs> all love, all love, though. All, all yeah, love, yeah, it's my dude. <laughs> oh, this next one is going to be interesting. Switzerland versus Spain. I'm curious to see who wins this round. Oh! <laughs> he bodied that impact, dude. Wow. That was so sick. Slicks the hair back like a G mid-flight. Look at that. Arms behind the back. Boom. Straight in on the head. That was so sick. Lucien has so much power on takeoff, and I think that's going to be going for him for sure with uh, the judges. But let's see what he does. Oh. <laughs> Can you hear that heavy, the top? heavy impact there for sure. No look. <laughs> Blinds himself? I don't even know if he spotted. <laughs> oh! I don't think he did. I think he went in completely blind on that one. Remember, Pacom in black, Lucien in white. Our judges are going to show some paddles here in a second. Wow! All right. Pacom advances. All right. All right, we got a hometown uh, matchup here, Norway versus Norway, Jelgen and Toure. Let's go. Ooh, oh. yoy, yoy. <laughs> Impacts are heavy, man. They're heavy. <laughs> All right, but let's right, see what Toure can do. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Equally as impressive. That's going to be tough. Just looking at the judges the whole way down. Look at that. Let's get our side by side. <laughs> Tor, his face is just so, so nonchalant, man. And a three to two score for White, which is Toure, and he is going to be advancing to the semifinals. All right, Battle of the Jakobs. Battle of the Jakobs. Norway versus Norway. Jakob in black, Jakob in white. <laughs> had a lot of power on that. You see how fast he ran off that takeoff? All right. Let's see if Jakob can match Jakob. our first place qualifier here. Boom. Oh. <laughs> that was far. I think he splashed the crowd on that one. That's hard to say who's going to win that one. This hard this, to say. Let's watch it back. This judging job is not easy right now. Both so impressive though. The classic round is so fun to watch. It's, like, it's, it's just so cool. Okay, Jakob Fuldal versus Jakob. Oh, wow. Four to one. Four to yes. one. For Jakob Liebe. Wow, he is on to the semifinals. And there on your screen, you see your bracket. So in our semifinals, we've got Pacom versus Tourin and Capo versus Jakob. These two will do the same format in terms of battle, but then we'll have a different type of jump. We're gonna go back to freestyle, like John said. The winner of each will go on to the final for the opportunity to compete for the 2024 World Championship, and the loser of both will then go on to the battle for the bronze medal. There will be more dutzing after the break as the men take on the battles, and you'll see Osbjörn in the semifinals.
Ah, I'm feeling pretty good. There was a second there in the midair where my hair was like fully in front of my face and I'm like, I can't see anything right now. So I'm like, oh, I just gotta do it from feel. But I mean, I landed it. I got the first spot and I'm just so happy to finally get started. Now you're number one. You still going for the gold? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, I love classics and that's the next round. So I'm just gonna float out that classic and then we'll crush it in the finals, hopefully. Next up, we got the semifinals of the Dodds World Championship. Do not go away. Welcome to the Dutch Diving World Championship here in Broken Ball there. Before we move on to our men's semifinals, we are gonna have our women's semifinal. So Lina against Sofia and Annette versus Aspiak. Again, same format now. We're gonna have a white and black band. We're gonna have a head-to-head. -head. The judges are gonna tell you which one they thought was best. All right, we uh, have okay. Annette versus Sofia. Annette is going first. Lina versus Sofia. Sorry, yes, Lina. That was nice. That was nice. Good power. She looked at the judges pretty much the whole time. I'm curious uh, how Sophia is going to retaliate to that. <laughs> I like the impact. I like. I liked her entry a lot. I want to see the head to head. The uh, side by side. The playback. Yep. Lena in black. These playbacks have been so great because you get to see head to head. Sophia in white. Lena a little bit more animated. Mm -hmm. Sophia bodying the impact a little bit more. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to say who's gonna who's gonna win that. You know, the power in both of their jumps. Wow. All right. Five out of five. Lena advances. So Lena will be going to the final, which decides who is first and who is second. Yep, we'll be meeting the winner of this battle. Aneta versus Aspiorg. Aneta versus Asbjorn. Powerhouse. These girls are teammates on Team Sonova. Um, I know they've been dancing together for years. Uh. Oh. She's happy. She She's put down pumped. something She's good. pumped. She's pumped. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Three-time world champion, reigning world champion, Aspiog Nesha. Let's see if she can deliver a jump, sending her to the finals. As usual, Aspiog puts down one of her most stylish classic jumps. The hair is billowing. She's even looking at the judges before she jumps. Look at that. Asperg is <laughs> determinated right there. Nice tag. We are going to go to our judges and let the paddles determine who is going on to the finals. And it looks right. like it is unanimous. Ospjörg is moving on to the next round, so she will be competing against Lina to see who gets first and who gets second. Here's our uh, recap real quick of uh, the women's. Lina versus Ospjörg, Sofia versus Aneta. I'm excited to see this That's final. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fantastic. We're gonna go back to freestyle now for the men's side. A lot more twists, a lot more spins, a lot more flips. I'm pumped. Here you see the bracket in front of you. We started our playoffs with eight contestants in the quarterfinals. We've moved on now to the semifinals. Our first semi, Pacom versus Tula. Norway versus Spain. All right. All right, let's see what Pacom's got. Oh. <laughs> Comes up I, screaming. I like how fast he comes up too. It's it's really nice to see. Like, you know, he didn't go very deep, which means he bodied the impact a little bit. Let's see what Tora got. 
Oh. So heavy, so heavy. Front flip. Oh. So, it's hard to say who's hard. who's got that, man. Again, I'm not envious of the judges that have to pick yeah. these two. Yeah, I, I like that I just get to watch exactly. this and be stoked, dude, so. Four to one for Pacom. One for Pacom. The Spanish Prince advances to the winner's round. Wow. Dude, I know he's so excited about that. That's awesome. That is so awesome. All right, Capo versus Jakob. What do we expect? These guys are both good friends. I, I saw them literally a few hours ago just doing flips off the diving board together. They're both flippers. They're both super talented aerialists. Oh my goodness. Nice. Double gainer to Duds. Uh, some would call that a Coca-Cola because he opens up a little bit huh. in the middle of it. Pumping up the crowd, pumping up himself. Knows he has to deliver on this jump. Oh. Oh. I think he broke the sound system. Yeah. Splash, man. <laughs> The hard thing with landing in duds from doing all these flips and spins is you have just such a small window to really land perfect. You can over-rotate or under-rotate so easily. Um, so it's really impressive to see everybody doing that. All right. Oh, wow. Kapo advances to the final. And we have a final with no Norwegians. We have a final with no Norwegians. So Bacom and Kapo in that final competing for the gold medal. Uh-huh. And then Tore and Jakob in yes, the, thank you. In the uh, bronze. Yep. <laughs> Super unexpected. <laughs> All right, here we have the two finalists. And none of them are from Norway. How are you guys feeling right now? Wow. <laughs> hey, awesome. 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 <laughs> wow, man. I'm so proud of us. Yes, you did great. Now, did you guys expect this today when you when you woke up? I expected him to be here. I, I didn't expect you to be here. I love the humblest and the proudest as well. Okay, but what can we see in the final now? Who, who's going to win? I think you. I think you're going to win, bro. Looks like the spider ran me. I'm going to try to see you, but... <laughs> <laughs> we see you, we see you. We see you, Good luck to you both. It's going to be great. Thank you so Thanks, much, man. Thank you. Finland! <laughs> Spain, Spain, Spain for the win. Here's our uh, recap real quick of uh, the women's. Lena versus Asbjorg, Sofia versus Aneta. I'm excited to see this That's final. It's gonna be great. That it's gonna be going fun. to be fantastic. Let's see what these ladies are gonna put down. This is Sofia's first time competing. Aneta is an experienced jumper in the world championships. Yep. They have tricks, they can, they can do whatever they want. Oh. <laughs> All right, Sophia. Nice. I think she's stoked on that. Aneta's got some sick tricks. I know she does, so let's see what she's got. Here we go. Ooh. All right. 360. Was that enough to beat? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Let's see our side by side. Let's see. Let's see the entries, because that's really going to make a difference, I think. Oh, it's it's going to be hard to say, but all right, five out of five. Sophia is on the podium this year. That is pretty oh. cool. Taking home a bronze medal for the Dead Diving uh, World First Champions. time in the World Championship, and she gets on the podium. I'm feeling great. I did not expect anything before I came here today, so this is amazing. How are you going to celebrate today? Um, <laughs> at the after party with everyone. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Congratulations again. Very well done. <laughs> Thank you.
The action continues after the break. Welcome back to the finals, Dutch Diving World Championships. See ya! All right, but here we go. Moment we've all been waiting for on the women's side of things, Lina versus Asbjerg. Who will be taking home that gold medal? Who will be our 2024 Dutch Diving League World Champion? Here we go. And we have one jump left in the women's event. Who will be the winner of the Duds Diving League World Championship? 2024. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Body the impact. So she she did she did a gainer with a 180 in it, over rotates it into duds. She's stoked. That is gonna be tough to beat. That's hard to say it's based upon say. the entry, you know? Yeah. It's really hard to say. Lena laced that. But Lena in black and Asperg in white. Uh -huh. We're go to our judges to decide who is our 2024 world champion. The judges discussing, they're deliberating the moment of truth. Yay! Oh, the, oh, wow. gracious. Wow. And Lena Lund is Lina Lund. our 2024 Dutch Diving League World Champion. Brings home that gold medal and unseats the three-time world champion and reigning Aspir Nesha. We're standing here in first and second place. It's Team Seneva, but like, you are the champion now. Yeah. The champion. How does it feel? Oh my god, it's insane. Oh no, I really thought that you were going to win. So, oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't there at the final round. How did it feel with the final jump? Uh, honestly, I was so nervous. And I was like, I don't want to get hurt. So, yeah. <laughs> and when you're on the same team, like, how do you guys hype each other up for the final hop? I really want you to win and you want me to win, so I feel like we... We're just friends on the top, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Just having a session. It's gonna be a party afterwards, no matter what, right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> this is to decide who comes home with that bronze medal. Toure versus Jakob, the Norway versus Norway for fourth and third place. Toure in our black armband, Jakob wearing white. Toure will jump first in this head-to-head -head battle. Let's see what he's got. Oh, yeah. oh. So he did front flip 180 into a back flip where he grabs, a, we call it in America, flying squirrel. And he tried to tweak and then go into duds. He didn't quite enter, I think, how he wanted to, but we'll see. Jakob getting psyched up right now with a proper back flip to start it off. Let's see what he's got. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Trip side to duds. Wow. He's pumped. He knows he's, he's psyched. Better. He's psyched. He knows he just put down something really good. And it looks like Tool might know it too. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's 
It's really cool to see yeah. that side by side. Yeah, the side by side is nice. Yeah. I, unfortunately, I don't think Toyota got the uh, proper close on that. The judges might deduct for it. All right, Jakob in white, Toyota in black. Our judges paddles going up to tell us who comes in third place at the World Championship. And it is Jakob coming Jacob with three, third. two. <laughs> He's amazed. He's psyched. Oh, I'm happy for him. I know this is his first podium. Congratulations. Thank you so third much. Third place. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, dude. Unreal. I just started the sport this year, and I could never imagine coming this far. So I'm really stoked about that. You're the best of reason, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, I'm just... Oh, I have no words. Congrats, man. Congrats. Take Thank it in. Take it in. Thank Enjoy. you so much. Thank you. Good Thank job, man. I know this uh, This winner's round between Cop uh, Capo and uh, Pacom is going to be is going to be something special. And I know both those guys are feeling it right now. They're like, oh, my goodness, I could win this. Anything you guys want to say to each other before the final jump? Bro, I love you. Good luck. I love you, bro. I love you. No matter what happens, bro, you're the best. You yeah. already won for me, so it's good vibes. Good luck, both of you. Thanks. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. We have our men's final. Pacom versus Capo, Spain versus Finland. One jump to decide it all. Pacom in black, Capo in white. One freestyle jump for each, and our judges will tell us momentarily who is our 2024 world champion. Let's see it, Pacom. <laughs> Jump. He's psyched. You know, he basically just added another flip to what he already was doing, which is really cool. To have that type of that type of ability to just add a flip to what you're doing and still stomp it is really impressive. Um, Does Pacom have what it takes to match that level of intensity and technicality? Yeah, let's see what Kapo's. The Top last jump of our oh world championship God. delivered. That was also so crazy. That's hard to tell. It's really hard. Because Pacom went forward, Capo went gaining. So Capo does gainer full, double full, or sorry, full down into it. So I think. It's interesting, Capo's already done that trick. Pacom did a new trick. Aha. That, in the judges meeting, they were talking about how they wanted that. Okay. They wanted something new. So, I don't know, I guess we'll see. We'll see, I, I mean, Capo put that down super hard. You can see ML's a little stressed back <laughs> yep. there. He doesn't know who to pick. Yep. <laughs> okay, Pacom in black, Capo in white. This is it. This is the moment the crowd has been waiting for. I, I couldn't pick that. That's so hard. I see Andrew is like, uh, I don't know. The judges <laughs> are going to tell us who is our 2024 Judge Diving League world champion. Any second. Here we go. Get decided. It's slow. Wow. Oh. White. White. One to decide them all. Oh, and Arna is the last one. Oh. Oh. Bacom is our winner. Wow. Bacom is our winner. That is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> what a way. Right, let me earn. Pacom is our 2024 Dead Diving League World Champion. Look at everybody just going nuts down there. That's so amazing. So, he has to, so this is, it's important that every single World Championship does a sofa. Oh. <laughs> After they win, there it is, baby. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> Everybody's in the water to celebrate. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. Wow. Look at the sofa. That was proper. He got so much distance on that. He was flying. The commitment. <laughs> well, there you have it. There Our have it. 2024 Dutch Diving League World Championship playoff bracket. Pacom coming in first place with three out of those five votes. Capo in second. Wow. What a competition, what a finals, what a world championship. And so cool to see Spain, Finland taking home those first and second prize and Norway ending up with the three and four. Safe to say the sport is internationalized. Yeah. The sport is officially international. Bakov, you're the winner. How you feeling right now, man? Let's go, Spain! Three <laughs> boys, I mean, take us through that last jump. I mean, everything that happened in you. I don't know. I was so nervous. I, it just worked out. I'd never been able to land it like that before, and I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't even supposed to compete this year, and here I am. You know, like let's go. How did that sofa feel at the end there? That oh, that was the best sofa I've ever done, for sure. <laughs> for sure. So how are you gonna celebrate tonight? Oh, we're getting, we're partying tonight. Yeah, we're partying. The after dark's about to go crazy. Anything you want to say to the world of Dutch before we round off here? Thank you for existing. This is my my favorite thing ever. Wouldn't be possible without all of you guys. So thank you. Congratulations again, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The second place winner here today, taking over the Norwegians. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very awesome. <laughs> this is so good to me. <laughs> it's so good. I didn't believe it. You didn't I believe didn't, it? I didn't believe well, it. Pinch yourself right now because it's, yeah. real, it's real. It's real. It's real. Yeah, and Finland. <laughs> yeah, and Finland. Anything you want to say to Finland right now? Torille, ei vaan Suomi perkele. Yes! Sofia Leopold! That is awesome. Sofia going up, getting that bronze medal. Osbjörg taking home that second place. The silver medal. Oi, dance some hard over the tour. Lino Galasale! And our new 2024 Dutch Diving World Champion, Lina. That is awesome. Lina Galasale. our ladies. Pop some bottles in celebration. I love it. Third place we have Jakob. I know he's so excited. And you can see it on his face. It means a lot to him. Look at that, <laughs> pumped. And all the way from Spain, give it up for Bakum Pigas! <laughs> wow, that is, that is sick. Bakum Pigas is your new 2024 Death Diving League World Champion. They're spraying champagne. They're celebrating in the audience. They're celebrating in the athletes. I'm sure there's going to be a big party tonight. Absolutely. With that. They know how to celebrate, that's for sure. <laughs>
I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Whether you're where in the world you're watching, whether it's Spain, Finland, Norway, Sweden, or the US, my name is American Carl. I've been joined in the studio with Jonathan Fay. Jonathan, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, it's been so fun. What a great year for Dutzing. It's amazing. What a pleasure. Make sure to keep following. Follow Dutz Diving League on social media to stay up to date on everything. We will see you in 2025. We'll see you guys next year. Thanks for tuning in. Adios.